Hello my scrappy friends, it is Jess here from the Scrappy Sisters and thank you for joining me for Confessions of a Paper Addict Design Team Layout. I started with this awesome cut file that is called Good Vibes over in the Etsy shop. There'll be a link for this in my description box down below. If you are a massive Copa Cut Files fan, you possibly already have this one in your collection. A long, long, long time ago, it was one of the monthly freebies. So there is every chance that you have already downloaded this one. Now, you might be able to see if you've got some keen eyes that my um, silhouette did have a little bit of a hissy fit in the middle of cutting this cut file. And I absolutely should have cut it again. But I don't have any black 12 by 12 paper yet left. So I decided to use this as a bit of a demo or a learning experience as to what I do sometimes if my cut file didn't quite cut properly and if it's salvageable or not salvageable. Now, this is nothing to do with the cut file itself. It is all to do with my silhouette and user error. But I'm going to work with this the best way that I can. So I've created myself a little sequin mix using gold and white and red and a little bit of sort of black. Um, and I'm just really overfilling those little love hearts with that little sequin mix. Once I have filled them up as much as I can, I'm actually going to like top fill them with some wet glue to really make sure all those sequins are sealed in and they're not just going to fall off later on down the track. Now this may not be something that you are down for but my hope here is that when the glue dries it's going to dry clear and it's kind of going to seal in all of those sequins and look a teeny tiny bit like I guess maybe like there's a resin on top or a dimensional magic on top or something along those lines. Uh, this might be a complete disaster but I am going to risk it because I know this type of glue generally dries clear. I'm going to cross my fingers that I haven't done too thick a layer and that I should be okay. Now, full disclosure, this is this is a very thick amount of glue, thicker than your average amount, and it will take a little bit of time to dry. I left this overnight um, because this is all I, I had to create this layout and spurts, spurts, bursts, and spurts as I didn't have time to sit down all in one go. If you are more of an all in one go kind of scrapper, then that style might not be for you. Now you can see that it has mostly worked. Um, now I'm going to attach my cut file to my 12 by 12 layout. There is one of the love hearts so it's a little bit still wet um it's a little bit white still in places but the others are basically all completely dry and completely clear so i'm happy with my little experiment there and that seemed to have sealed in all those sequins really well and they're not going to pop off or um you know lose their stick down the track so i'm going to put this on now so again if you're keeping a look out at that awkwardly cut part sort of the section of the word awesome there underneath the word amazing as you can see um that's going to be the placeholder for where I put my photo because you know I think it's Inky Quill that says there are no um mistakes in scrapbooking just happy accidents and um you can always cover it with an embellishment so that's what I'm aiming for today so I've got my photo here that I've double matted um I've got the photo that I matted on white paper and then matted a second time on black paper and now I've put a little 12 by 12 card underneath it just in that sort of colored color tone that kind of matches a little bit there and then I've got that really cute three by four what what size card did I say before? Three by four size. And then I've got this other really cute three by four size card um, with a really nice sentiment that I'm going to put on as well. It kind of looks a bit like there is a two photo layout by doing this. Um, that photo on its own was probably a bit small for this layout. Uh, I possibly should have printed it in four by six size, but I generally print all my photos in three by four size and then figure out which ones are going to be uh, in my pocket pages and which ones are going to be 12 by 12s. And at the time, I didn't didn't realize that I would choose to do this one as a 12 by 12. Um, and I could have printed it again, absolutely, but I don't like to waste. So the photo was already printed, so that was what I was rolling with. And I only had the one. So in this way, I'm filling up a bit more of the page and a bit more of the space by having that pocket card there as well. Then I'm popping on my embellishments. 
You might be wondering about the photo. It looks like nothing at the moment. Uh, That is Jack and his mates uh, after school. They like to ride their scooters. We call them the scooter gang. Um, And they just ride around the basketball court after school. So I've covered the heads of the other people in the photo, um, except for Jack, just to sort of show the idea of what's going on there. But obviously you can't see them. Um, and it's a shame because it kind of lo- disturbs the effect of the photo. No, there isn't this strong sort of yellow color on the photograph, but it is what it is. Um, not much I can do about it, of course. But it even is distracting for me. You know when you color match and you're trying to, oh, I should bring in some yellow tones. No, no, there's actually no yellow in that photo, Jess. Don't don't get distracted. So you can see that I've kind of stuck with a monochromatic sort of um, color scheme here. It, it, there's a few pops of other colors, but the sort of main base of the color scheme is that sort of teal, dark greeny type color. Um, you can see the border is in that sort of kind of color. Um, the writing itself is sort of in that color and then um, the stars and that three by four card is also in that kind of color. So I've sort of sort of tried to do that. It kind of all complements each other. And then by adding the red in that sequin mix, it helps pick up the red in their t-shirts. Uh, so that kind of ties that in as well. I then um, sort of stuck with this diagonal feel across the page. It's not a true diagonal. It is a little bit higher on the right-hand side, but close enough and just kind of brings your eye down across the page and helps you take in all of the words in that cut file. There's no title necessary for this cut for this layout because the cut file does the title for you. Then I, of course, have popped on my splatters in black, white, and gold, and this layout is done. So here are my close-ups. Um, I absolutely love this layout. I love this cut file. It was super easy to work with. Uh, it was really, really fun, and it worked perfectly with these boys' photos. The collection that I have used today is the Coco Vanilla Studios No Limits collection, and make sure you check that description box down below for links to the Copa Cut Files Etsy shop uh, and a direct link to this cut file. Thanks for watching everyone and I will see you next time. Bye.